Hey guys, so today we're going to be making the 7% glycolic acid toner. And if you guys didn't know, glycolic acid is great for oily, acne prone skin. It helps slough off dead skin cells and it can help with fighting acne and it can even help with mature skin. So it can help with like wrinkles and dark spots. It does all kinds of great things, but I specifically formulated this toner for oily acne prone skin. And here's the formulation for this product. I've implemented some henna extract in this formula because it's great for oily acne prone skin. I added in some aloe, witch hazel, and chamomile for its soothing benefits. Since acne prone skin can get pretty irritated if you're using exfoliating products on it pretty often. So even though glycolic acid can be a little irritating, I added in some ingredients to help combat that. So if you're new to my channel, you might not know that formulas for cosmetics are actually written in percents like you see here on the screen, and then you transfer the percents to a recipe. So I'm going to be making a 200 gram batch today. So I've transferred this formula to a 200 gram batch recipe. And if you'd like to know how to do that, I'll link down below to a video that'll show you guys how to transfer percents to a weighed out recipe. I also have a blog over on Patreon that goes into even more detail about this recipe and you can actually download the recipe and print it out. That way you have a physical copy of the recipe. And I also post two exclusive videos over there every single month so you get lots of extra content and you can always message me on there with any formulating questions you may have. Oh, and I also forgot, I include substitutions for these ingredients also over on the blog. So check out the blog. I'll link my Patreon down below. So let's get into the recipe. So like I said, I'm gonna be making a 200 gram batch and we're gonna be starting with phase A. So phase A includes 100.6 grams of distilled water and one gram of liquid dermal plus, which is our preservative. And then 0.1 grams of aloe vera powder. This is 200 times aloe vera powder. And aloe is a lovely soothing ingredient. It's moisturizing, it's great for acne prone skin. So that's why I added it into this recipe. And I'm using 20 grams of witch hazel. And this is witch hazel hydrosol, so it is free of alcohol, so it's not drying like some witch hazels may be. Witch hazel is an astringent, it's soothing, it helps tone the skin, and it can even have a tightening effects as well. And then I'm going to be using 4 grams of henna extract. This has cooling and soothing properties. It also provides antimicrobial and oil absorbing properties, which makes it perfect for oily acne prone skin. And then I'm using 4 grams of chamomile extract. It's an anti-inflammatory and it helps soothe the skin from irritation. So that's all for phase A, so I'm just going to go ahead and combine everything together. And you want to make sure you mix in the aloe vera powder until it fully dissolves. So just mix everything together. And go ahead and set that to the side and now we're going to work on phase B. So phase B includes 20.3 grams of glycolic acid and 50 grams of my buffer solution. So the reason why we want to combine these two together is because we actually want to go ahead and buff the pH of the glycolic acid before we add it in with the rest of the ingredients so it doesn't disturb the formulation because um, glycolic acid actually has a really extremely low pH which is dangerous for the skin. So you want to make sure you're raising the pH of the glycolic acid before you add it into the rest of the ingredients because if you add a really low pH ingredient into this formulation, it may destabilize some of the ingredients like the preservative. So we want to buff the pH of the glycolic acid before adding it in to the rest of the ingredients. And you'll notice when you add the buffer solution to the glycolic acid, it might heat up a little bit. So you want to let that cool for a bit before adding it in to phase A. So let's talk about how I made the pH buffer solution. So this is a pH buffer solution that actually raises the pH rather than lowering the pH. You guys may remember me using a citric acid solution commonly here on my channel and I'll use a citric acid solution to lower the pH. But here we want to actually raise the pH to about 4.0 to 4.5 because that is a good active uh, pH level for glycolic acid. So to make the pH buffing solution, we're gonna take 180 grams of distilled water in a glass container and then 20 grams of sodium hydroxide. 
This is lye, but you want to make sure you get sodium hydroxide, not potassium hydroxide. So go ahead and pour the sodium hydroxide into the water. Do not do it the other way around. You want to make sure you're pouring the sodium hydroxide into the water. And you'll notice the uh, water will get kind of like foggy and stuff. That's totally normal. It might sizzle and it'll definitely heat up. Just mix it in and try to dissolve the sodium hydroxide as much as you can. And you want to let it sit for a bit. You'll notice the solution will eventually clear and you want to let it return to room temperature before adding it in to the glycolic acid. So now that we have both phase A and B finished, go ahead and pour phase B into phase A and mix. So now we just want to check the pH to make sure it's all good. I have a 50 milliliter glass speaker and then a 25 milliliter glass speaker. I'll also link down below to where I purchased my uh, pH meter. So I'm going to add some distilled water into the 50 milliliter glass speaker to rinse my pH meter. And then I'm going to add 12 grams of the uh, toner to the 25 milliliter beaker, just enough to cover the electrode on the pH meter. I don't want to fill the beaker all the way up because I don't want to waste all my product. So rinse your pH meter first and then dip it into your toning solution and you want to let it sit for about a minute until the pH number stabilizes. So after I let it sit for about a minute, we got a pH reading of 4.06, which is perfect. We want somewhere in between 4.0 to 4.5. So I'm gonna go ahead and bottle up my toner in this four ounce glass bottle. And then whatever's left, I just poured in this two ounce glass bottle. So in case you didn't know, glycolic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. And alpha hydroxy acids do cause sensitivity to the sun. So if you are using this, you wanna make sure you're wearing a sunscreen and wearing a sunscreen for up to a week after using it. Alpha hydroxy acids can also cause irritation to the skin. So if you have sensitive skin, you want to be careful. It's also a good idea to only use these at night and you want to sort of ease your skin into it, especially if you have sensitive skin. So if it's, your, if it's your first time using glycolic acid, use it maybe like just a couple times a week and then start doing it every other day. And then eventually you can ease into doing it every single day if needed. But I don't recommend using it every day if you're not like struggling with acne or anything. Um, but if you're trying to combat acne and clear that up, then you can use it daily until you uh, clear up your acne and then start using it only like a couple times a week. And in case you do have sensitive skin, I recommend using it as a spot treatment instead. Sometimes it's a little too uh, irritating for me to use it on my skin. So I'll use it as like a spot treatment on my nose, my chin, or like my forehead. And um, yeah, you just use it like any other toner pour it on a cotton round and then just pat it in on your skin. And you wanna use it after cleansing, but before your moisturizer. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. This was my 7% glycolic acid toner. And if you wanna see more recipes using glycolic acid, let me know what you wanna see down in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for watching, later. Stardust Bath and Body. Nature's Farm Girl, Kennedy's Essentials, Let's Blend, Wallflower Wildflower, Heartfelt Beauty, KAJ Bath & Body, Lumen Soap, Salt Air Label, Lenise Beauty, Shark City Naturals, Ohana Lay, Danny Botanicals, Hempy Girl, Free Maquillage, Alchemy & Clay, Bible Belt Boutique, London Lattress, Naturally Flawless, Beauty by Riza, Bijab Spa, Facial Daily Rituals, and your spiritual midwife 333. Also, if you didn't know, I sell skincare products myself over on Etsy. I'll have my Etsy shop linked down below along with all my lovely patrons. I'm stuck in the motions. I've been